Hello Sagittarius, in today's reading we'll be looking at what blessings are coming towards you for the rest of the year. I do want to point out bottom deck energy because I do shuffle off camera to get your energy in the cards. But it's almost like telling me a story here. Seven of Pentacles, Hierophant in Reverse, Magician in Reverse, Chariot, Death, Three of Swords in Reverse, Five of Pentacles, Four Major Arcana here back to back. Well, I see you closing out a chapter here. Um, some of you, this can be a divorce, can be an idea, can be something related to your job. But there is a situation here that you invested a lot of time and energy with the Seven of Pentacles. And you've been doing some reevaluation, assessing whatever this situation was. And you're coming to that conclusion that you don't want to invest any longer. It's not really going anywhere, right? And perhaps not bringing you the stability that you were seeking. Again, Hierophant is second house. So this can be relationships. It can be finances. So I see you taking your energy back, picking a new path. And you're moving forward. And this is bringing in a lot of blessings, right? For one, there's forward movement. You were stuck here. And if this is in terms of relationship, I see you healing it's in rec it's recovery right five of pentacles is when we're coming out of the cold there's no longer a feeling of lack we're seeing progression and sometimes if this is lack when it comes to finances you'll see a turnaround here which is beautiful let's see what blessings are coming towards sagittarius Yeah, some of you are starting a new job, a new project. It's sort of, I was telling you, you're reassessing, you're picking a new direction, and you're having to start from scratch. But whatever this situation is, if it's a new job, it'll grow into something very, I see it growing into something substantial, right? Um, it's giving you, whatever this idea is, this new project, it's giving you a sense of security, because again, Empress is Taurus energy. The second house is coming through strong. If there's competition when it comes to you finding a job, I see you coming out on top. You have all the qualities in order to fulfill whatever role this is that you're playing. They're wanting you to hang in there and don't give up on whatever dream goal that you have in mind here. But Empress's overall well-being, it's talking about pampering yourself, right? Self-care, knowing your worth, yeah, self-love, Ace of Cups. Some of you will be spending money on yourself, maybe some sort of beauty routine, I don't know, facials, whatever makes you feel loved. I see you doing more of that. What blessings are coming towards Sagittarius, rest of 2022? Nine of Cups in Reverse. Putting yourself first, putting your needs first, knowing your worth, compromising when you need to, but there's healthy boundaries. So I don't, if there's a situation, someone that was taking advantage of you, they can no longer, there may have been some codependency here in the past, and that is what you're coming out of. Right, emotional independence. <laughs> Talking about healthy boundaries, Queen of Swords. Also using discernment here moving forward in terms of who you let in your energy and who you work with, Three of Pentacles. Some of you are establishing better boundaries with co-workers. What blessings are coming towards Sagittarius? Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is what you're putting an uh, end to nine of cups again i'm getting some lack here it has to do with you know ten of swords can be anxiety i mean it does signify an ending but it can also be over analyzing overthinking a situation right but you're coming out of your head here and your energy is coming through as more grounded which is beautiful eight of ones some blockages here coming through 
what blessings are coming towards Sagittarius. If you've been facing a lot of resistance, resistance in a specific area of your life, um, that is for a reason because you were meant to focus on the, yourself here. Um, I'm seeing personal development. What blessings are coming towards Sagittarius rest of 2022? Do you see that? We're talking about overthinking, really being stuck in your head. You're being more present here. And also a blessing is peace of mind. You truly feeling happy, content with how things are going in your life. An ace of pentacles, an offering, something stable, a new job, if that is what you're seeking. Yeah, you were investing in a situation that felt one-sided. You weren't feeling inspired, that you weren't seeing growth, right? Or you felt like you were putting in more work than, you know, it's it's almost like giving more than you're receiving with the Six of Pentacles. So you felt like you were putting in a lot of effort, you weren't being recognized if you're working in some group setting and that is what you're moving on from. You're releasing yourself with Hangman. You don't want to be stuck where there's no growth expansion. So I see you heading in a different direction. It's all about new for you. Some of you may be wanting to relocate for work. What blessings are coming towards? But there's a sense of stability here. Lovers, we like that. Ooh, some of you are... Four of Wands was wanting to come through a significant relationship. So there may be a proposal here to move in together or just exclusively date, right? But there's, there's a sense of coming together with someone. Strong physical attraction. But, you know, Sagittarius, I was getting, yes, your love life, but I was getting a lot about your finances. And lovers can definitely be um, being aligned with a job that really... It's fulfilling your north node, your life purpose here. So that may be something that you're discovering. But you're really passionate or you're loving what you're doing here. Which is why you're seeing all this growth, right? But you taking risks. I'm seeing calculated risks. I see you really thinking things through is what is turning your situation around here as well. You taking some risks. What blessings are coming towards Sagittarius? Six of Wands, woo, harmony, balance when it comes to partnerships. We have six six. Yeah, you have a love offer. Look at this, someone who's wanting to collaborate with you. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Page of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Clarify Hangman here. Yeah. You have offers. Some of you will have a choice between two. Listen to your intuition, they're saying, with the Queen of Cups. Both of these energies that are coming towards you are more youthful. Maybe younger in age, but more so pages and knights are just offerings, messages. And I see you really uh, considering this offer here that's coming in. Some of you, this is someone that's at a distance from you. Right? They're bringing you the cup and I see you really studying the situation. Also, you're coming through as a bit more reserved where this person's more open to you here. Um, it can be because of past experiences, right? So I do see you really taking your time. Really listening to your intuition and feeling the situation out. But I see a lot of friendship here, right? Some of you may be meeting this person through work. But I see a beautiful first date, a lot of attraction, flirting, and you both feel like you can actually build something here. They may have strong water and fire in their chart. We have this King of Wands. But others of you, there's a past situation here. Um, 
maybe a third party i have to mention that maybe some workplace romance and you may be turning your back to that situation and there's a new love coming in because that, for a lot of you i am seeing two options here which is why i see you picking a direction and you're choosing stability something that can be long term right i love this but six of wands is also recognition i was telling you that you're very passionate about what you're doing or you're finding your life purpose and whatever that may be, it's bringing you a lot of success here. You're feeling victorious. You're feeling like you're on top of the world here. That's what I'm getting. Emperor Six of Wands. Like you're being put on a pedestal. You're putting yourself on a pedestal is what I'm seeing. Knowing your worth is beautiful. So whatever this difficult energy was, it's it was there for a reason. It's almost like it was testing your commitment to yourself. And your faith in the universe and you've passed the test they're saying there's some positive news coming in that's also bringing you a lot of peace what blessings are coming towards you have everything you need to live a comfortable lifestyle Ooh, we like fifth house some of you if you're wanting children very positive i see a lot of action intimacy passion so there's no lack if you were feeling there was a drought no longer but you're someone of high value and i feel like you're looking for substance so i don't really see you into you know more passionate flings that sort of thing but if you are abundance here of opportunities what blessings are coming towards Sagittarius 11th house so expanding your friend group new friendships there may be an Aquarius that's playing a significant role here as well but you're also being aligned with people that have a similar vision to yourself some of you may be wanting to give back to the community and you're being recognized for your efforts but your relationships are going through a transformation. You're attracting someone very powerful and someone who will be very supportive of your ambitions, um, especially whatever you do for work. This is like your biggest fan, really, really pushing you. And they'll be challenging you to be the best version of you and you them. But Sun and Seventh, that was a beautiful partnership. Um, but I am getting that this energy can be very dominant. But your relationships in general are going through a transformation. You're feeling more empowered here and I feel like you're taking responsibility of the role you've played in past connections. You're learning is what I'm getting. You've learned from your past. But there's strong chemistry here with someone pluto seventh house the negative see this is a blessings reading but the negative of pluto seventh house can be uh power struggles what blessings what blessings are coming <laughs> venus venus 11th house this can talk about finding friend uh finding friends definitely finding friends that i was telling you being aligned with people that have a similar vision yeah if larger friend group a bang on social life meeting people that have similar interests but also this can be finding love through a mutual friend or some sort of group setting here let me see what else i'm getting some of you may have venus in aquarius but you're coming through as very graceful beautiful attractive handsome gender doesn't matter right but it's like you're i'm getting more invitations to social events here and they're wanting you to go but they love people are loving the way that you're presenting yourself and you're coming through as conventionally attractive because 11th house does talk about the collective paired with venus so there's multiple people crowds of people that are finding you desirable yeah a lot of reference to your social life here so expect to new, meet new people but also 
um, going on dates, right? People wanting to spend money on you, get to know you better. Maybe going to the movies. Venus rules pleasure, so whatever is whatever is pleasurable for you. I see you doing more of that. But good wine, right? I'm seeing. If some of you were stuck in a rut, you know, work, home, gym, work, home, gym, I see a little bit of a disruption here in your day-to-day, -day, but for the better. I think you're being more spontaneous here and really, you know, if a friend calls and says, let's go out for drinks, I see you saying yes. I see you making room in your schedule to get out more and socialize. Some of you, if you have children, I see a lot of playtime here. You're really driving a lot of satisfaction with from your children and maybe, you know, doing little crafts or I don't know what you're doing, but it's very enjoyable. Watching movies as a family. What blessings are coming towards Sagittarius, rest of 2022, 12th house? Well, I need more information about this. What blessings are coming towards Sagittarius, Chiron? Well, this is talking about the subconscious mind and healing on a subconscious level, whatever this Ten of Swords was, really getting to the root of the issue. Pluto, Jupiter. But there's a change in perspective here. I see forgiveness. Some of you are forgiving someone from your past. But a major theme is healing here as well. Some of you are healers. You're meant to heal the collective. I was getting that for Aries as well. You're really good at uplifting, uplifting others and making them feel good about themselves, especially about their physical appearance. But Venus in 11th house can also talk about compliments. There's praise, compliments coming your way as well. Yeah, we have scissors, disappointment in some affair. So I see you cutting out what is no longer serving you with the scissors and you're leaving that disappointment behind. And there's someone new entering. I felt that. New energies entering your life. We have someone new is entering your life. Chair filled. So if someone leaves, especially a romantic interest, it's making room for someone better. And this can go for friendships as well. But also in terms of your love life, they're saying build a friendship with your person. I see you having a lot in common. Um, it's like you don't get tired of each other. You're constantly, you know, you're always having new ideas and new things to do. I see beautiful dates here with whoever you're attracting. We have finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future and this has to do with some reconciliation someone wanting to come back in your life but if they were not to be trusted in the past then that may be something you really have to um keep in mind oh yeah take care enemies are working against you what blessings are coming towards Sagittarius? Wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. This has to do with the co-worker. They're saying pay attention to your work. There may be some workplace drama. And this won't be for everyone. And they're saying don't. Empress, you're radiating high. Don't stoop down to their level, right? Don't participate any in any gossip drama. You're above that. Yeah, January was coming through, so a Capricorn or Aquarius could hold some significance here. What blessings are coming towards Sagittarius? Family matters. So this wedge can be something to do with family as well. We'll figure it out. We have money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find. Yeah. Success, Ace of Pentacles. Dark woman, that may be you or someone you're attracting, and we have good luck. Yeah, behind that we had financial pinch, and that is how we started off the reading, right? Five of Pentacles in reverse. You're coming out of that. You're having more resources. You're feeling abundant. A path with money is waiting for you. You're on the road to success. What blessings. Sorry, I have two stacks with the tea leaf. 
So I just pulled up the second deck. What blessings are coming towards Sagittarius? I'll also clarify a chair filled for you. I'll figure out who this person well, man, we have dealings or relationship with a man. This can be you. Sagittarius are the person that you are attracting. And they may be at a distance because we have hammock. Taking a vacation physically or mentally. What blessing. Some of you are going on vacation here with the Four of Swords. Yeah, romance is in the air. It's a beautiful, beautiful period for finding someone significant. A lot of flirting here as well. And back and forth messages. What blessings are coming towards Sagittarius? Yeah, they're saying someone may gossip about your secrets. I mean, be careful of who you trust, but more so they're saying don't get involved in gossip. October may be significant here for you because the first card to come through was also empress right which is a libra energy so you may see some drastic changes in that month we have teardrops great personal sorrow and ant work achievement success yeah there was some sadness when it come comes to your work is what i'm seeing if you're wanting to get pregnant they're saying news of a birth or there may be news of a birth within the family and october is playing a significant role if that is the case what blessings are coming towards Sagittarius? Four leaf clover, great good fortune. Look, crib, birth or conception of a child. Enterprise. So it can be a new business venture. I was getting that. But it can be a birth. Yeah, solid foundation, success with effort, and basket, recognition, reward for merit. Six of wands. There may be someone in your family that's giving you a hard time. We have someone is behaving stupidly. Lead with kindness, not aggression, is your advice if that is the case. But major work success, definitely. But love and work, right, is coming through. It is, you've been putting in the work and you'll be reaping the rewards. Success with effort. You're sitting, you're sitting strong. Your foundation is very strong. What blessings are coming towards Sagittarius? <laughs> this has been coming through for a, a few other signs. Dominion. Very powerful. We have you're the master of your domain, which may intimidate others, but you can outdo your opponents. Stay calm and observe. I was seeing lead with kindness. Yeah. Lead by example. There's, you can outdo your opponents. Stay calm and observe if it's workplace don't participate but your energy is a little bit intimidating you're in a high position or you will be working your way up definitely you'll see progression what blessings are coming towards Sagittarius rest of 2022 and we'll get a few love cards because love did want to make its way through manifestation I love the warm colors here. We have your manifesting rapidly. Your dreams and goals are becoming a reality. Stay focused. Don't lose sight of the target. Your manifestations are coming. Again, okay. Family was coming through, so there may be some changes for the better within your family. I feel children. Your fam family is expanding. We have surround yourself by the people you love and let it be your circle of strength. Or you just have a lot of supportive connections, right? Perhaps you're particularly close with your mother. We also have passion. There's untapped potential. It's time to take action on your passion and make magic happen. And I see you doing that. I see you taking charge because Dominion, the lion, is more masculine energy. It's all about initiative and going forward, right? And we also have health and happiness, so maybe improvement when it comes to your body or you're just liking the way you look, right? Making body changes and staying committed to working out will lift your mood and bring more joy into your life. And if you're not, then this may be advice for you as well. Especially if there's any frustration, that can be a very positive outlet for you. Okay, for your love life. I want to shuffle this because I haven't 
want to see. Bottom deck. Ooh. Yeah, you're meeting someone new. We have new romance. New love will find its way to you. There's an opportunity to exper experience a positive new beginning. Um, we had chair filled. Someone new will be entering. We have materialistic love. This person will really like to spoil you financially, I'm getting. Um, gift giving may be a love language. We have a rocky start. Um, there may be some blockages here external. I don't see it has something to do with the both of you. The only problem here, maybe someone's very work focused or a little too materialistic, but it's nothing you can't overcome. Friends first, 11th house Venus. Some of you are meeting through a mutual friend, but this can start as, it's like best friends, really. You really have a lot in common and you really care about each other. There's a very warm, affectionate energy here and strong passion as well, but a lot of affection. You're attracting a new love that will begin as a friendship. It will develop into something more, a strong intellectual bond, intellectual affair. There will be a strong intellectual bond, a love influenced by logic. Overanalyzing could be an issue. Ten of Swords coming through in your energy. But it's very practical in terms of what you both are expecting from this connection. And I see a mutual respect, admiration here. What blessings are coming towards Sagittarius in regards to their love life? I want one for you. I don't want too many because we already got a lot. Opposites attract and fun connection. Very fun, romantic, and a lot of beautiful dates and great conversation. Someone may enter your life who's very different from you. You will complement each other. And there can be some... You know, it can be opposites attract, but I see you have a lot in common. At least the core you know, values. I don't see much disagreements here. But I also am being drawn to Jupiter here, which can talk about distance. And there may be initially some distance here. I'll end with this deck. I know I used a lot of oracles for you, but I'm sort of feeling it today. interesting yes if you were involved in any third parties at work i would be careful of that because we have money matters we also have an ex involved in short-term results some of you are trying to sort out a situation with your ex some sort of divorce maybe finances are intertwined or maybe an energy that you're attracting here but others of you third parties short-term results i don't see it going anywhere there is true love but it's if i look at the houses they're more casual if that is the case and we also had 12th house paired next to venus that can talk about a secret affair um so i don't i don't see that ending well if that is the case but you are learning from this situation and a lot of it's just about knowing your worth right you're back on track they're saying oh yeah look at that look at that yeah, we have growth and transformation. Yeah. Healing and progress, growth and transformation. Some of you are really open to dating, putting yourself out there. Um, but yeah, there's long distance between the both of you. So that is why I was seeing a lot of perhaps text messages back and forth. And I do see travel. And one of you will be traveling to the other. Right? Because I was seeing some forward movement action going on a date. That is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you next week. Bye.